What up YouTube, Bulldog Matt here. As I said uh, in my last vids, the uh, last one you saw was just a, uh, a whole bench full of parts. I did say that I was going to build it step by step, but I sort of got a little bit uh, impatient and just went ahead and built it. Uh, over the few days, a few more parts came, uh, so I was able to do a lot more than I thought I was. So as you see, there is my Rusty that I built. Um, it's not quite finished. I need a couple more things. I'm waiting on a few lipos and a pinion gear. But I'll take the lid off and give you a look. So there it is with most of the parts. Uh, the anaconda wheels are on, the big ball shocks are on and full of oil. Uh, just make sure you do that before you put them on, otherwise it's a pain in the ass. Um, you can see all the caster blocks and steering bell crank is in. Uh, tomorrow I'm going to my local hobby shop over at uh, Browns Plains, which is Hobby Pit Stop, and grabbing a servo. Uh, I'm going to go for a Savox. Uh, 1257TG titanium gear servo and I'm also waiting on a uh, Spectrum receiver 3300T um, to go with my uh, radio that I have for my LOC. So as you can see uh, everything is nearly together the shock towers are in uh, everything is in a few problems I did run into is I had to keep the stock plastic upper chassis mount because I couldn't uh, couldn't figure out how to get the bell cranks to stay in without slipping from side to side and I didn't want to butcher the plastic one uh, just in case I mucked it up. Um, the other thing I did was stupidly put the steering cranks the steering uh, tow link, sorry, on the rear instead of the rear ones that I purchased and my wheels were looking all goofy and turned in. I then went and mounted my receiver box, which is uh, just right here. I mounted that there. Everything's not really screwed down properly, so it's all just test fitting. Uh, that's pretty well stuck there. Um, that was about the only good place it is. Uh, then you see the battery, um, I have battery straps plus uh, once that's down I'm going to have another cell battery to run parallel to the top in front of the, uh, the Mamba uh, SCT Pro uh, ESC. Um, I was looking for a tubing of some sorts to hide all the wires but in the end I just zip tied it um, just to try and neaten it up a little bit. In the back you can see the Castle Creations 2400 kilovolt motor. Um, yep, pretty self-explanatory. I put the T-bone wheelie bar in um, with the Traxxas wheels. What I actually had to do with the Traxxas wheels is to uh, use the screws that came with the wheels, but you uh, need to use tie glue, super glue to glue, glue the actual uh, ends of the screws into the T-bone bar because they don't fit, they just uh, move around the not big enough. Um, what I did run into with my FLM tranny case was that the uh, RPM arms really don't like it. They need to be stretched over and a little bit of wear and tear will uh, loosen those up. Uh, the CVD joints are still the stock ones. I am waiting on the ones to come um, by MIP. I'll be throwing them in as soon as I can, as well as my Lunsford hinge pins. Basically, that is pretty much it. Um, it's pretty much together. I'm just waiting. Also, some Jayco foams. Uh, pretty hard to come by at the moment. You can get one fronts or you can get rears, but you can never get fronts and rears at the same place. And being that we don't have them widely available in Australia, that uh, they're pretty hard to find. So, that is the rusty as it is. Uh, I haven't got it running.
yet because uh, because yeah I'm just waiting on that pinion gear so that's it after me dropping the, uh, the body what I actually did was to get some heavy duty um, velcro to stick it on and it sticks there pretty well just need to sort it out a little bit more I did also touch on my last uh, video that I do have a couple of other RCs which I will be doing a sort of, I don't know, a spiel on about what it is. Um, here you see I've got a Revo 3.3. That's my uh, truck, it's my first one. I've built it up. Um, I just put a motor and stuff in it, it looks pretty cool. There she is, but I'll talk about that in another vid. And I also have my Losi. But anyway guys, uh, thanks for uh, watching, so just like, subscribe, uh, that's it, hasta mañana from the Dog Down Under.